this video, I want to cover how you can start using hierarchies within your Power BI reports. We're going to go through some of the scenarios in which they are useful step by step together in case you want to follow along. And also we're going to talk about why you should be using them in the first place. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where I focus on teaching beginners the wonderful world that is Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So to explain it better, let's go through this example that I have today. It's a very simple Power BI data set that we have here and we have one orders table. The orders table just shows information about individual orders and some information about the orders themselves so things like when they were ordered um, by which customer and some customer informations as well as which ship uh, was used to deliver the order um, and some information about those uh, ships Within our model, we have a couple of other tables here. We have the calendar table, which we use for our time intelligence. And also we have a calculations measure table where we store all of our measures for this report. At the moment, the calculations table only has one total sales. And all it does is it calculates the number of total sales within the orders table by multiplying the uh, quantity and unit price. So this is the DAX for it. So what you'll notice if you're working with Power BI for the first time is that with your date columns, you will already have hierarchies implemented implicitly. So if you look at the order dates here, you can go down here and you have a date hierarchy here, which shows you the um, different hierarchy of dates available for you to use when you want to show the order dates in a time series. So let's start with that. Let's put the order dates and total sales on a line chart just to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So you'll see here on this line chart we have the total sales calculated by year and why that is, is because we have uh, on our hierarchy at the top the year and in order to go down in the different levels in the hierarchy you'll have to use the arrow buttons here on your visual. So uh, if you want to drill down to a specific year, you can turn on the drill down feature and click on those years. So if you go to 1997, it gives you the total sales within that year. You also have the ability to go to the next level of hierarchy, which um, goes down from year to quarter to month. However, uh, you have set your hierarchies up. And finally, if you want to expand down to one level, so to show multiple levels, um, you can use the expand to the different hierarchy. So it shows you, for example, if this was the year, it shows you per quarter um, or per month or per day. So this is per day. So hierarchies in this case builds us a custom list of fields that creates a preset uh, way for us to explore our data. In this case, we are uh, wanting to explore the total sales by the different hierarchies within the date, the order date. So by year, by quarter, month or day. But it doesn't necessarily have to be just dates. It could be location or it could be uh, employment status within the company or levels in organization but just think of it as a way to create a preset hierarchy within your data set which makes it a lot easier to explore if you don't know the data sets by heart. Now if you watch my previous videos you know that this is not the best practice when it comes to working with dates. Typically what you'd want to do you want to make a relationship between the date columns that you have to a central calendar table and there are multiple reasons why you should be doing this uh, mainly to do with performance or also maybe working with multiple dates within the same axis if you're interested in how that works um, I created a video specifically for it so check out that video if you haven't yet so to do that we'll go to our model here and all we'll do is we'll just drag the order dates to the calendar table here on the date column which creates a relationship between our calendar and our orders table 
Now, if you go back to the report that we have here, you'll see that it's changed the view of our axis now for our line chart. It shows us um, on a day-to-day -day basis and you will see that the, um, the hierarchy on your order date table disappeared. Um, and that's because your order date is now using the calendar date as its date table. So it means that you, um, you are not using an implicit date within your order table, but you're using the calendar date table. Uh, so how do we fix this now that we have it here? So what we can do is we can replicate the same thing that we had earlier with your order dates except in the calendar table itself. So what we can do, we can create a custom hierarchy within the calendars table. So to do that, all you'll need to do is you will need to drag your uh, different fields together to create some hierarchies. So let's do, let's drag the month to the year. So you will see that it's now created a hierarchy here. Let's just rename this to something more descriptive, so date hierarchy. We don't have the quarter, but we'll work with what we have for now. So we'll drag date as well. And let's just make sure that the month is sorted in the right order. Yeah, just checking that it's sorted by month number. And now instead of using the order date in our axis here, we'll use the date hierarchy. So now you'll see it gives you the exact same value that you had before. And it also gives you the ability to you know, drill through or expand however you want within your data set. And also, as I said before, hierarchies don't just work with dates. They also work with um, fields that have logical hierarchies within your data. So uh, maybe roles or places. This makes your data set a lot easier to understand um, and visualize without having to know it fully. Let me show you maybe as an example, uh, let's look at our data set and let's see what we can create a hierarchy on. So this is a good example here. We have some ship information, so ship name, address and city, region, postal code, country. And we want to create a logical hierarchy for this data. So maybe we want to create a hierarchy um, starting by country, then going down by, um, by city or by name. So let's try to do that. So let's go back here. And within our orders table, let's look for our column. So it's here. So let's create a new hierarchy. So let's right click and create a new hierarchy. So what I will do, as I said, it creates a hierarchy for us. Let's rename this to just ship hierarchy. And let's add the other columns that we wanted to add here. So let's add ship city and let's also add ship name. So you'll see that creates as a hierarchy within our ship hierarchy. Let's make some space here and let's maybe show a bar chart of our total sales. Let's show total sales by ship hierarchy. So now you'll see it gives us easily the total sales by ship country, of course, because that's the upper hierarchy that we have there. Um, and it allows you to drill down to the ship information uh, without needing to know what sort of information you have for the ships. You've already pre-created that hierarchy for your power users to use when it comes to uh, using your data model. So you can drill down if you wanted to to the different cities and also ship names if you wanted. If you wanted to add more details to your hierarchies, you can do the same deal. So let's say, for example, we didn't have the address, so let's add that. And maybe we want that a bit higher in the hierarchy. So let's uh, move it up. You have the ability to move the level of your fields within your hierarchies, uh, either up or down, however you wanted it. And let's just re-add that into our axis here. So we include the address. 
And that's it, that's how you use hierarchies within Power BI. And that's really it for this video. I hope it helped you understand how easy it is to start using hierarchies um, and how useful it is for your power users uh, when it comes to exploring your data model. Leave a like in this video if it helped you. It's the best way to let me know that you enjoy this type of content. Get in touch using the social media links that are included in the description box below. And thank you so much for watching, guys. See you again on the next one.